Hey, it's Steve Lindsley. Welcome back to my shop. A few months ago, I started taking uh, pottery classes. Uh, I saw a show on television, and, and uh, it looked like it was a lot of fun, so I signed up for the local uh, potter in a, in a studio, and uh, I've been taking them for, I don't know, five, six, five, six months now. I'm still not very good at it, but it uh, sure is a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things I had in mind when I started taking them was a way to combine woodworking or wood turning with uh, ceramics. So uh, I thought after I thought about it, uh, this is the first project that I came up with. Uh, it's a little ceramic and walnut candy dish. Uh, the top part is a, a ceramic. Uh, it's about six and three quarters inches in diameter, I suppose. Um, and the, the bottom pedestal is a walnut. So... I combined the two of them together, and I think it makes a right nice little candy dish. So uh, in this video, I'm not going to show you how I threw the uh, the, the uh, ceramic piece. Uh, maybe one day I'll get brave enough to make a, a video on doing it, but right now I'm, I'm still in a novice stage. So uh, I won't, won't show you how I made that, but I will show you how I made this little three-piece stand that it fits on. So it's a nice little project. I think it'll, uh, it'll uh, work great and... Uh, I'm looking forward to loading it up with some, some candy and putting it next to my easy chair. So stay tuned to my video, and I'll show you how I made my ceramic and walnut candy dish. Well, I said in the opening, uh, for the past few months I've been taking pottery classes. Uh, I find that to be a, a lot of fun. I'm not very good at it yet, but um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a challenge. Um, one of the things I was looking to do as part of that class was to figure out how to combine some woodworking with some uh, pottery. So the first thing I came up with was maybe a candy dish. So I made this um, little uh, small dish shaped um, piece uh, and I put a tendon on the bottom of it and I'm going to make a little pedestal for this, uh, for this and it'll be like a little candy dish on a pedestal. So what I did was uh, I drew out the uh, what I want it to look like, um, this is the top, the bottom, and then there's a, a spindle that, um, a short spindle that'll join the two pieces together. So it, it won't be all that tall, maybe an inch and a half, inch and a, maybe two, three inches, three or four inches tall. So I'm going to make it out of some walnut. Um, I got a couple of four inch discs here that we're going to put onto the screw chuck uh, and make this top piece. This is the top piece right there and then the, the base piece. And then I have a, um, a longer piece that I'm going to use to make the spindle. I actually have two of these little dishes, so I'm going to make uh, two spindles on this one. But um, once you see me make one, you pretty much see me make both of them. So the first thing I did was I want this top piece right here. Uh, I want it to come out to the edge of the glaze here. I used a dark bodied clay and I glazed it with a kind of a dark brown, which you uh, probably can't see it on camera, but shows some green in it too which is kind of kind of cool so we'll, we'll take a piece of this and we'll kind of mortise here it'll match that um, tenon and then we'll uh, fit it all together and it'll be good to go well here I'm getting ready to work on the uh, top piece uh, this is the piece that goes right underneath of the uh, ceramic dish uh, I need to get it down to the diameter uh, as I showed earlier in the earlier clip I need it to be as wide as that uh, where the glaze was on the on the piece, the dish, so that it covers up all that bare clay underneath of it. So just a matter here of using a parting tool and a caliper to get it down to the uh, diameter that I want it to be. Well, now that I have it down to the proper diameter, I need to get it down to the right thickness. I, I need three quarters of an inch, and this uh, this a piece is a little on the uh, is about an inch. So I'm just going to use a a bowl gouge and a pull cut here to get it down to that line, and then uh, we'll be good to go with the right the right uh, thickness. I need a mortise to fit that ceramic tendon that's on the bottom of the dish, so I just got some calipers set here and I'll uh, mark out the diameter that I need and then I'll use a, 
a square nose scraper to uh, hollow that out. Um, just a matter of trial and error. Uh, take some off. Uh, use the piece to see if it fits and keep going until you get a nice tight fit. All right, I've reversed the piece and put it on a chuck. I got it in a, on some pin jobs and I got them in that tendon uh, or mortise that I cut uh, and it's being held in expansion mode. So I need to mark out the uh, uh, how wide I want the bottom piece. And then and this part is just, it's just a big cove. So it's just a matter of uh, getting a cove to the shape I want and uh, we're good to go. I use a combination of uh, three inch bow gals in here I'm finishing it up with a uh, round nose scraper. I know what you're thinking. Say what? You're going to dye this piece? <laughs> yes I am and I'll show you here at the end of this clip why I'm going to do that. So this is just a combination of uh, three uh, general finishes dyes. It goes uh, light brown, medium brown, and uh, vintage cherry. So it gives a, a nice uh, a walnut color. So let me show you here in a second why I'm doing this. Okay, here, here's a couple of photos of a pin case that I made a few years ago. I, I bought some walnut for my hardwood supplier and I made it out of walnut um, and it looked real nice for a, quite a while but um, eventually the dark woods tend to lighten up so my walnut now is kind of a light tan color instead of that nice light dark walnut color that I like. Uh, it's got a lot to do with the uh, when they sapwood's not considered a defect in uh, Walnut. So what they do is they steam the walnut while it was being kiln dried, and it blends the the uh, sapwood with the uh, heartwood and kind of makes it look uh, more uniform in color. Uh, the bad news is when they do that, um, the, it doesn't hold the color very long. Uh, um, I guess it depends on how much sun or exposure or sun it, the piece gets, but. I didn't want my little candy dish looking like this after a, uh, a few years. The, the pen case is fine, it works okay, but I want the, I want the little uh, walnut stand to stay a dark color because the ceramic is not going to change. So that's why I dyed my little piece. Okay, I'm going to work on the bottom piece. Uh, this is actually the the part towards the tailstock is actually the bottom of the bottom piece. In other words, that would be the part that sits on the table or whatever. So uh, here I just need to round it out and then I'm going to cut a, uh, a uh, mortise in the bottom so that when I flip the piece around to work on the other side, I can actually put it on the uh, chuck jaws in expansion mode and it'll hold it. All right, I have the piece reversed in the uh, in the chuck here in expansion mode, and I'm going to start working on the bottom. I've already got it turned to the down to the thickness. I, I did the same thing as a previous piece. I just used a pull cut. Uh, this 
bottom part has uh, the top part of it is closest to the spindle is actually a cove and then about part way out about halfway out on the uh, on the piece that transitions to a round over so I need to make a, a cove at the top and then uh, transition that to a round over so I'm going to use a variety of things I do most of the work with a uh, 3 8 inch bowl gouge um, I use a scraper uh, a skew to make the transition piece so it's just a matter of kind of working it down till I I get it to look like the way I want it to look so we'll see how we do that we'll see how we do it here Okay, I have the piece in the lathe for the uh, the spindle. This is longer than it needs to be, uh, but like I think I mentioned earlier, I actually have two of these little ceramic dishes, so I'm going to make two uh, two little pedestals. So, but when you see me turn one of these little spindles, you see you pretty much seen them all. The little spindle is about an inch and a half long, and it's got two. Uh, it's got three eighth inch tenons on either end of it that'll fit in those three eighth inch holes that I. Uh, drilled in the uh, the base and the top piece so uh, it's just a matter of using a, a spindle gouge and some uh, other tools to get this uh, to the shape that I want so let's see how that works out I did just cut the spindles off with a little saw and here's the uh, piece just fit together I don't have any glue on it yet so uh, I'll um, 
glue the pieces together and then I'll put on uh, several coats of polyurethane as the final finish on this piece. Uh, looks kind of light there. The dye kind of dries to a lighter color, but as soon as I put some finish on it, it'll uh, it'll uh, pop out and look uh, look the way I want it to look, a nice walnut color. So that's the part, uh, that's the piece uh, dry fit together. All right, that's how I made this project. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the turning the, or throwing the uh, dish was a lot of fun, as was the, the turning of the Simple project, but it was uh, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. So, if you haven't yet, uh, find the subscribe button down here someplace, and uh, go ahead and subscribe, and then you'll get notification if I when I put out some new videos. So, thanks a lot, and everybody take care out there.